Join us shortly for a live webcast. But first, we're a chance to have a look around the sets. And had a fantastic day. It's amazing how detailed this place is again. It's amazing the attention to detail. They're all named something magical. Muggle Law and Order. Here it is, Volume 1. A complete guide, in fact. The, like wizard the speech. set was always cut full of stuff that was had amazing detail. You know, it's just not it's not just gibberish, it's actually a letter. That's what's good about this though, Mark. You're, you're looking at the stuff there that people never got to see that who no. went to see the films, did they? But they can come here and uh, and really appreciate really see it, all yeah. the, the art and all the detail. Gryffindor! <laughs> Half buff, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin. And they'd they'd all fall from the towers, so like Half Bluff could be in there, Gryffindor or whatever. So they're all at different levels and they'd change throughout we were shooting. It's so real, man. It looks exactly the same as when we were here. Like, exactly. Brilliant. And over there, that's where your mum killed Bellatrix. <laughs> In that corner. This is one of the most important sets, I think, um, to me, because it's, it's just always been there. And it's got this really kind of homely feel. This is where we all had the big feasts, and we spent so much time, like... Really long scenes in here, and it's, yeah, it's quite nostalgic coming back. It's great being back in the in the great hall again. I mean, it's, I mean, they're still doing construction. I mean, it's kind of noisy and, and, and unfinished, but um, it feels like home. I spent so many hours sat in this exact place. I think it's great that people all around the world are going to be able to get to do that for themselves as well. I was actually dead there. That was the last oh, time yeah. I appeared in a Harry Potter with me dead. And also, what's great about the, the roof is authentic as well. You know, this is how it looked to us. There was, there's no enchanted ceiling. It's, it's, it's just some lights hanging there and some scaffolding. So, uh, yeah, we're back home. So, three, three. Hi, welcome to Warner Brothers Studio Tour London for the making of Harry Potter. Welcome to our live web chat. We're going to be taking questions from people all across the world. We are massively excited to be here. Yay! <laughs> so, on, on Twitter, Moon one asks, Did you think the studio tour would be so popular when tickets went on sale today? And I've got my tickets for June. Good oh. on you for getting them. Well said, yeah. yeah. Who would have guessed? Uh, thousands of you, even within hours, have, uh, have applied for tickets. It's marvellous news, and uh, we're all very excited to have you here. Um, keep trying if you are struggling online. Yeah. It's very busy, uh, a, lot of, a lot of traffic, but you will get through and be able to purchase your tickets soon. Mr Weasley says, be patient. There you go. <laughs> yes. And Mrs Weasley backs him up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mummy. And Emma Sandry of snitchseeker.com says, Hi all, which of the sets currently at Leavesden do you feel most at home? Oh, I think Mrs Weasley's Weasley, house. Weasley, we'd say the Burroughs yeah. house. Yes, definitely. definitely. It's the most homely. It's gorgeous and cosy. Okay, and then on Twitter, Potter Chosen One asks, is the studio tour open forever or for just a limited amount of time? It is going to be open for a very long time. The foreseeable yeah, future. The foreseeable yeah. future. It's certainly Potter. Yes. So <laughs> don't worry, you will get your chance. Yes, certainly. And then Marcello Neves of Potterish asks, um, this is from Brazil actually, Ooh. what do you miss most about the Harry Potter movies routine in Leavesden Studios? The four ups in the morning. I've got, I've, I've got a bacon and egg sarnie in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. got an answer to the Brazilian question, which is I used to make coffee in the morning, and I miss my morning coffee. Well said, well said. I'm going to miss getting plastered with glue every day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, was just, just, I was going to say hello, Brazil, because I know there's loads yes, of Brazil. Harry Potter fans in Brazil. Ooh, so Brazil. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Julie. I'm no, really I was just going to say I, I miss the people. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. The familiarity yeah. and the friendships. and Yeah. The actors were a nightmare, but everyone else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and again on Twitter, Bojiva asks, um, which set and prop will forever remain in your memory? Ooh. Probably all our wands that yeah. we all yeah. had each, because they're yeah. all specific to each character. I found out today that my wand has just come out that you that is merchandise, and oh. I tell you, I was so pleased. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's my wand. Sometimes. You were like a little kid, weren't you? Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah. Zapping everything. Yeah. Zapping everything. We're very attached to our wands, needless to say. That's exactly so. And Heidi Tandy of Fiction Alley Spellcasts asks, if you were serving as the tour guide for a long-time Harry Potter fan, 
What one item, place, or thing at the studio tour would you show her first? Good question, mm. that, isn't it? There's some uh, great little secret right. things in the borough, like they have the, um, the proper mechanic work that cleaned all the dishes and the things that cut all the vegetables and ironed, and mm. just to show that these are actual mechanics that have been made real rather than mm. the constant And also, effects. in Dumbledore's office, you can't see it when you go in immediately. You have to look for it. But there's a cupboard, and inside is the, the, the pensieve. Ah. And, that, and it looks really kind of anonymous, and then you suddenly realise that that's the real one. <laughs> yeah. And the Great Hall. Great Hall yeah. is just breathtaking. Go sit on Dumbledore's chair. Y yes, 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 definitely. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I've done that. <laughs> and yeah. Laurie Buck of www.feltbeats.com asks, was there a particular set you'd like to hide in if you wanted to get away from everything for a bit? Room of Requirement. Definitely. Yes, that yeah. was always there. Yeah, you could go missing for hours in there. Yeah, very you? much so, yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. 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 I actually uh, chilled out in the Great Hall once and everyone left me and went to lunch and I woke up. I was so into my character at the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone had gone to lunch instead of rehearsing. <laughs> So that was, that was quite a good place to uh, escape everyone. <laughs> I used to chill out and run my Segway around the Great Hall. I did that once. Yeah, the Segway. Yeah. Just zoomed around there. It's a calming place, wouldn't you say? The Great mm. Hall. Yeah, when it was empty, it was, it was a bit spooky. Yeah, but a little bit spooky. Quite, yeah. quite calming at the same time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think it would definitely be the Burroughs again. No, I've never had an invite. I'm waiting for the Weasley's to... <laughs> well, yeah. well, this tour is invite invite invite. Invite. Really? Well, this we is we were invited to Draco Manor. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were obviously not good <laughs> enough <laughs> for you. <laughs> point, point, yeah. And um, tweeting is uh, Lance Paget, and he asks, uh, a good one, what is your first memory of stepping onto the set of Harry Potter and he thinks you are all wonderful? Oh, we like thank, you. Thank, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Hello. Very I stepped on set on platform nine three quarters when I was nine, and it was very scary, very cold. And the first person you I you were nine and three quarters, then. Two hundred years. Yes, that's another. Right. Yeah, love that. And well, the same, obviously, the same experience. I mean, my first um, uh, time on set was on platform nine and three quarters, and it was the same feeling cold and scary. It was a huge film, never done anything like that before. So, yeah, and I met my little daughter, and then I met Dan and Rupert, and it was great. <laughs> I think my first, my first day was filming uh, the last scene of the first movie up in Goatland, uh, which is in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. For me, it was sitting at the head table in the Great Hall, um, something that you can all come and see uh, if you come and uh, visit here at the, at the studios. The, the chair is still there, and I sat in it yesterday, and it was a uh, it was lovely reliving that moment. Mine was hot, not cold, when we were all in the burrows. Oh, yeah. yeah. Walked through the door and there was all my family and Harry sat there and that was great. Here's one uh, specifically for Tom, James, Oliver and Bonnie. Keith Hawk at MuggleNet asks, is this a bit like walking through your childhood? Have you passed by anything and said, oh my gosh, I remember that, or I can't believe they kept that, or that looked so much different when I was younger? Um, one thing I said, actually, we were in the Great Hall earlier, and it, much like a home that you spend, you know, so many years of your life in, but those stones that are on that floor have had the most amazing people walk across them. Mm. And, you know, I stepped on those stones when I was 10 all the way to when I'm 20. So it's, I think just those things, you know, this is where we were at such a young age still. Yeah, I was going to say something very small as well, just the bench in which we actually sat at after yeah. getting sorted into our... Our houses. I'll never forget sitting on that bench for the first time in the Great Hall. So yeah, those are, those are very memorable things. It's hard not to sit down and actually uh, and, and, and recollect good times. A lot of the sets that, that we've been on, that, especially on the tour, they're a lot like a time warp to any time of your well of our teenage years. That's I a good think. way of doing it's, it. Uh, yeah, you could, we could be fourteen and we could be twenty-five. <laughs> it's quite uh, one of those. When you you were talking yesterday about the size of the Great Hall and you reckoned that it was slightly smaller and that's a very yeah it was it was yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. sorry it was Oliver said that and it but that's that's quite a, a thing that you do when you go out to school or something yeah, yeah. and because it's yeah. been taken out of context you go back and you go oh wasn't it bigger well yeah, yeah. you were smaller <laughs> <laughs> was smaller yeah <laughs> and this one's for everyone um, tweeted by Lemon Miss was this the what was the hardest what set was the hardest to film in I think probably the smaller sets normally. Yeah. Where the Burroughs was a little hard because we all yeah. found little things to mess around with in there. And getting <laughs> attention was a bit of a... I don't know, the, the, the room requirements was always pretty hard because it got so hot with all the lights and the mirrors and everything. 
I think it was the worst or the most difficult sector when we were outside I was at just night, about to say, yeah. outside the yeah, boroughs, in I freezing go, cold, it was winter, and meant to be summer. Three in yes. the morning. In our 90s. I think the hardest one I did was, I think I spent many, many weeks lying on the floor of the Chamber of Secrets dead. That was uh, oh, yes. quite hard. Yeah. But it was just such an amazing set, and, you know, that um, has unfortunately not going to be here. And this comes from Ferry Vanessa from a fan website. Um, Julie, this oh. is for you. <laughs> Did you enjoy filming the Not My Daughter scene? Oh, I absolutely loved it. <laughs> How was it to beat Bellatrix? It was fantastic to beat <laughs> Bellatrix. And, 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 all of the days preceding that particular day where we, where we came to do the fight, we'd see one another across the, the courtyard and we'd say, I'm going to get you. I'm gonna, and eventually we got to do it. It was, it was great, except we both suffered from wand arm. Oh, oh yeah. Very oh, what's, what's that? Well, what's well Warwick, hazard, really? it is of using one's wand oh, yes. for hours upon end, and we both had to see physiotherapists. I believe most of the men had also had a similar problem, but they didn't admit to it. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> but it was great. Yeah, loved doing it. Really good fun. Speaking of wands, uh, music for LYF tweeted, um, since you had to turn in the wands you bought, uh, have you bought replica wands to have the memory with you? I have. I have. I yeah. was given one. I only just found out I've well, got a replica <laughs> one, so I'm going to buy one when I can. Yes, I didn't know you could have replica ones. I know I haven't got one. But there <laughs> is one of you. There is one of you. There yeah. is one yeah. Is there? Yes. Yeah. I'll get you one on the L. There's one actually in that. Will you get me one, Daddy? Yes, I'll get you Thank you. Laurie Buck at www.feltbeats.com asks, do you still get a little emotional walking through the sets, even though filming has been completed for quite a while now? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably going to speak for everyone when I say every time you come back to Leeds and uh, back to Warner Brothers Studio here at Leeds, and it's, uh, it's a very easily... It's easy to get emotional. Um, many a great year spent here and lots of memories come flooding back as soon as you go through the gates. Um, so yeah, of course, it's very emotional. Most of my childhood was spent here, so yeah. And also it's odd because when we've come here um, today, everything's completely changed because yes. we're in the middle of... Warner Brothers in the middle of creating um, this studio where we shot Leeson Studios into a massive Warner Brothers studio. It's going to be amazing for the British film industry. Yes. So well said. for us, it was quite disorientating. Yeah, it was. Everything was in a different place. We couldn't find <laughs> where everything was. But it's going to be amazing. It is. And you. <laughs> you best in Europe. <laughs> Mill underscore Jen tweeted, um, will fans be able to buy merchandise after the studio tour? Definitely. Mm, I'm yes. sure you will. Exit through the gift shop. Yes. Yes. I, so. I don't know. Of course we want to, though, don't we? I mean, yeah, can... I think there is. Yeah, it's down to be. Who I think actually buy... someone over there is having merchandise. Yeah, over there said mm. yes. So, yeah. I can imagine. Megan Barrow of Magical Menagerie has a question just for you, Bonnie. Um, what was it like when you worked with the art department making some of the props for the Weasley House? Well, that was good fun, actually. I hope maybe some will be in the boroughs, but I made um, like collages and paintings as if it was young Ginny doing little drawings that were then included in the set of the boroughs, so it was as authentic as possible. So hopefully we will, you shall see them in the boroughs house. That's pretty fun. Sandwich tweeted, was it hard to pretend to see some of the things that really weren't there, stuff they did later through the computer? There wasn't that many things to do, to be honest with you. There was, there was a few things, obviously, when it was just a tennis ball and you had to follow a man with a stick yeah. uh, in front of you. But I'd say that was only about 2% of, of shooting. The rest of it was all real, real things, which I think was a, a bonus for the films, was that it wasn't all relying on visual effects and, and all that kind of stuff. It was actually really there. Yeah. I think that's what people realise when yeah. they, they come to the studios and go on the tour is actually how much of this stuff exists and it, it isn't all created in a computer, you know. So you can basically have the same experiences as we did and, and, and the same experiences you did when you saw the film, really. I know, there was one night in the boroughs when after it was with you guys and we were all outside and me and Thulis had to fight fire snakes that weren't there and that was, that was very weird. It's like, OK, where's the head? How big is the snake? That, I found that a bit odd. I had to be attacked by Nagini in, in the, um, oh, in the yeah. ministry. Oh, yeah. Which, which, and he was a really nice steady cam operator who apologised after every time. <laughs> so I was going, ah, ah. He's going, but he's coming like that. And the other time we had to do a lot of imagining was when we were on the battlements. Yeah. And they ordered a phoenix with Fulis and, and us and George and everybody there. And we had to imagine 
huge hordes of Death Eaters coming towards the castle. And to be quite honest, it didn't take much imagination to do that because, because we kind of, I think it's there in the, in, the, in the image of the film, you know, the idea that you were being attacked by, yes. by all this evil didn't actually seem to take much mm. thought. Mm. Just emotion. <laughs> and then uh, this is just for the younger set. Jeff Graham of HPANA asks, um, what's the worst trouble you ever got in during filming where a director or some other adult had to tell you off? Oh, Never. Bonnie, yeah. don't lie, OK? I think only one person can answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> We're all looking at you, Bonnie. <laughs> Never um, really don't. No. We were pretty good, weren't we? Yeah, we were pretty, pretty, pretty well. Yeah, adult, the adults, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think there's a question for art. <laughs> <laughs> We, um, um, the, well, this is an exact example of what happened. Is we all used to talk ten talk, to the dozen, yes. and, and it was mostly shut up. <laughs> yes, will you please concentrate? <laughs> Keegan Manson tweets, "What is your favourite creature from HP?" Dobby. I never had a thing for Dobby. No. I love Dobby. 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 I, think, I think everyone forgot how annoying he was. Oh, Dobby. He just didn't do it for me. Um, yeah. no, I'd say the dragon from Gringotts. I thought that was, a, yeah. Yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah. He was a very cool creature. Mm. And Katie Marion um, from danradcliffe.co.uk asks, are you guys excited to come to the grand opening for the tour next March? Yeah, we if we're yeah. invited, we'll yeah, be here. Yeah, 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 like that, yeah. Please, can we come? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're very excited. It'll be, a, it'll be an amazing day. And, and I'm, I'm most looking forward to, you know, if I am there, presuming, uh, that, that you were seeing, you know, you guys coming through the door for the first time and, and experiencing, you know, these amazing places like the Great Hall. Um, and I imagine your face will be very much like Harry and Ron and Hermione and the gang when they first walked into Hogwarts for the first time in that very first film. I'm sure. Yes. We could all do our faces, maybe? Yes, yes we, we do. Uh, well, it's just a bit amazement. of amazement. And this was, <laughs> this was tweeted for all you Quidditch oh, players out there. Pretty good. Actually. Underscore not at moi nami. She asks, how was it filming Quidditch? Is it true the broomsticks were rather uncomfortable? They, they, actually, guys, they, just, they actually got a lot comfier throughout the films. When we first started, they weren't very comfy at all. Nope. Uh, the, like, the saddle was, you know, very small, and then gradually it ended up being almost like a riding saddle mm -hmm. by the end of it, how, how comfortable it was. You know, Brendan, Brendan um, Mad Eye and Moody's um, a broom was made of <laughs> aircraft grade titanium, which I think th that was when the brooms finally reached their absolute. <laughs> <Yeah. position. laughs> well, when I joined, you, you had to get your ass plaster casted, um, so it was absolutely perfect. So you had this broom that was moulded to you. I, I found it really comfy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Keith Hawk of MuggleNet asks, is there a particular set that you never filmed on that you wish you had? The bar is clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Never got in the, great yeah. the Ministry of Magic. Oh, that was, yeah. yeah. Dumbledore's, Dumbledore's office. I think Studying. with me, I was always quite nosy, so I went and looked at every single set on the film, even if I wasn't filming on it. Did so. You? I Chamber of Secrets would have been good. I mean, yeah, yeah, the little that brows there, that is a very cool scene. And I think that's what is almost, there is that sort of exciting feeling, I think, when people do come here, it's almost like you're sneaking around Hogwarts, and mm. I think that would yeah. be quite exciting. Be nice, yeah. Definitely. Gryffindor common room, oh. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just like, like the fire and just have a little snooze. Oh, yes, yes, I love the yes. notice board in the Gryffindor comedy oh, yeah, because you can read all of the events and things that were going on in yeah. Hogwarts. I mean, it's, the detail's amazing. Michelle Riley of the Harry Potter's page website asks, is it still hard to believe that you've been part of something this large when you walk through the studio? And what portions of the studio really make it hit home? Do you mean the, stu what, do you mean the sets? Yes. Because obviously the, it's going to be Warner Brothers Studio London. And um, it, in a way, I think it's probably good that, that the old Leavesden has gone and we've got a, we're going to have this massive, shiny new studio. But then within it are the sets that we, we worked on. So we're going to get the best of both worlds there. Really. I think when you're working on the films, you're kind of in a, in a little bubble here doing it. And, yes. and you don't actually realise sort of how huge all of this is until you go to events like the premieres and things where you realise that there is this, this huge following for these films and That's everyone's right. so excited to, to see them and everything. Yeah. And Armdria tweets, Will you visit the studio when it's open? Like with your friends and say something like, this is where I spent my life. 
Or we might be the secret, you know, the <laughs> yeah, hidden we make, tour guides. Make you don't know. Yeah. yeah. I like the idea of being a secret tour guide. Yeah, just turning yes. out one day. That'll be fun. Look out for us. Uh, yeah, I'll be proud to show people I know. You know, this is where I, I did some of my best work. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Oh, I look forward yeah, to it. I look forward <laughs> to it. <laughs> <laughs> Mini Ripple for Warwick? Or? <laughs> no, you just hold it for later. <laughs> and Laurie Buck of www.feltbeats.com says, When walking through a particular set, do you have a moment where you can picture a particular scene being filmed just like it was yesterday? Oh, definitely, yeah. Go on. Well, the Great Hall, uh, for me, just conjures up so many images. Because if you think about the films, all of the things that happened in that room, from the great feasts to funerals to um, the the rock concerts we had in uh, in, in Goblet of Fire to the sort of destruction and and, and sadness that was in there in the very last film. So, yeah, for me, I can picture all of that, you know, when I walk into that particular scene. I think it was, you know, such as the Great Hall, it was a coming together of everyone, like pretty much... You know, everyone would all, always want to see the Great Hall, and I think it is, and it will work in this studio tour as the centre. I think. Yeah. Uh, well, do you think when people go around, they'll have a? I, I was just thinking about um, Dumbledore's office. Do you think when people go in, they'll be quieter than they were outside? Do you mm. Yeah. 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 Yes. Because when you go in Dumbledore's office, you've kind of it's still you sort of. You don't, Yes, 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 <laughs> like I a, bet, yeah, yeah. library kind it's a bit of magical, yeah. 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 You're not going to go in and go like, Blimey, look at the size of that. Yes, it's kind of like. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen C tweets Is it true they're going to be filming in Orlando, they meaning you, next month at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to celebrate the DVD release of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2? Uh, I think May. Don't know. Filming? I don't think we're filming there. Oh. Filming. There's some good rides there, though. Visiting. Visiting, visiting. visiting. yeah. Visiting. Oh, visiting. 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 visiting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was wizarding, I think. Oh, wizarding. <laughs> <laughs> wizarding, yeah. I think it was wizarding. Same wizarding, difference. Visiting, hey. visiting world. Yes. Yeah, we'll definitely, yes. Be, uh, we'll definitely be a wizarding there. <laughs> and Megan Bow of Magical Menagerie asks, Warwick, for you, oh, yeah. what was it like filming in Gringotts? And were the sets really intricate? Or what was the most special of that effect? Uh, I mean, Gringotts was, was amazing. I mean, I was first there on, on the very first film uh, and then revisited Gringotts for the, for the last film. And, and it actually, the, the, on, on the first uh, film, it was uh, a location in London and they rebuilt that as a set for the very last film because, of course, they have to destroy it as the dragon escapes and they couldn't do that to the, the place, uh, Australia House in London. So, uh, so, yeah, it was an amazing set. The chandeliers, I was amazed to find out that they, they created right here at the studios, you know, and somebody handcrafted those two chandeliers well, and I just piled them in. I went down to look when they were building Green Oh, yeah. Because we were up somewhere else. And, and uh, there, was, there, was lo- and there were loads of guys, one particular guy up on a, a scissors on a big high raised platform who was gold leafing the top of the columns. Yeah. <laughs> it's like twenty-five foot in the air, and you're gold leafing them. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Spazzy one tweets, "What is your favourite memory from behind the scenes?" Mm. That's Was hard. That to wand to that you said then. Well, well, one. <laughs> <laughs> I have lots of memories of being whisked off to education or actual education. So. I don't know, there's not that many great on ones. The, on the first two films, there was a baseball field set up outside the yeah. the main yeah. door where we all went in, and on the lunchtime, the crew and everyone all used to play baseball, which was that was a really cool memory. Wait, do you mean basketball? Baseball. There was a basketball. There was a basketball. There was a huge baseball pitch. Really baseball. Yeah. I never saw the baseball. There was a driving range at one point. It was there. Yeah. Ah. I used to play miniature golf between. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Marcello Neves of Potterish has very specific directions to tell us all in one word and one word only right. what it meant to you the t- last ten years of working on those sets. Start with you, Nat. No, no, start with me. Start with him. Okay, start with you, Warwick. <laughs> oh, God, um, yeah. What does it mean to me? Um, it was magic. That's a good one. Uh, get in um, first. Pride in the whole thing. Oh, that's good. Pride. Pride. Pride is good. Pride, Pride. is really good. Really good. Really good. Uh, comfort. <laughs> it was. It was comfort. It was so yeah, comfortable. Yeah, comfort. Exactly. Oh, cold, damp. I know, but I mean, it's emotionally comfortable. Oh, okay. One Just word, see. people. Come on. Patience. <laughs> What's that? She has her rules. Patience. Patience. That's fine. Uh, enjoyable. Just <laughs> enjoyable. I feel very honoured. 
We're honoured to, to serve yeah. my time. Yeah. Money. <laughs> it sounds like we went to war now. Yes, <laughs> or in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Clea Fortuna tweets, what was the biggest prank you pulled on the set? We weren't big prankers, were we? Be honest. Yeah. I took a lot of food from the canteen. Because um, the, like, the crew weren't... Um, they weren't given uh, free food. So I thought that was a bit weird, because as a cast member you did, so I used to nick as much food as possible and give it to everyone. You even took a whole mini from I mean, every, I took a hog from the premiere as well. <laughs> like an entire roast hog home. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, oh, as, as grip hook, I wore some Christmas earrings once. Some sort of, and Did flashed. Yeah, yeah flashy earrings. Oh. Was this on the set? I wasn't really was a prank, I mean, it's just something. I thought the privacy of your own home. <laughs> Sorry. No, I did it. Yeah, well, behind closed doors. It's fine, yeah. let's talk about the hob. <laughs> At the Skull tweets, what were the costumes like? Were they comfortable? No. Very warm and hot. They were yeah, really, warm. No, Jenny, Jenny, Timim's costumes were... Fantastic, but and the, and the attention to detail with fabric and stuff, and they're so comfortable, they fitted, which often is not the case as actors, <laughs> but they were often quite warm. Yeah. Especially, I'm talking about Weezy's here. You had a more kind of, okay, you had a leaner line. Cool. I have no That's complaints, yeah. Our seats were tailored, though. You were tailored, wow. we were okay. Well, yeah. Mummy and I tended to be in a lot of knitted things. <laughs> yes, I had Mommy a lot of knitted. orange, browns, green. That's right. Lovely knitted Lovely things. Lovely colour palette. Everything I had a body, knitted. which my, my problem was that every time I wanted to go to the loo, it was quite difficult. Uh. Yes. A body? Well, I had yeah, You know those full body, body outfits? Oh, like okay. a swimsuit underneath, and it was like, right, I've got to go to the loo. I had the same problem, only mine was the padding. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm really very, very slim. It was like a beanbag, wasn't it? I had difficulty... I had a thing... Well, I won't go into it. You know, with nails on as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but but you you had... I mean, you had prosthetic... You were covered in... We can't really complain. My clothes are not to what Warwick had to wear. No, the clothes were right. The face wasn't. Yeah. Face is... We all suffered for Actually, our Actually, wait a minute, Warwick. You've got, uh, you've got the world record for a number of parts played in... How many? Yeah. How many? I don't know. I mean, were you, what, you, were were the, you, you were Flitwick. The, oh, the, the band, the yeah. band master. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Northern that Flitwick? Yeah. Grip Hook, and then another couple of goblins. So, seven. Somewhere in there. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Very impressive. Very impressive, Warwick. You all clearly have a good time together. And Finding Haley has this question, um, do you all stay in contact with each other? We do, and um, we've well, all decided that yes, the Weasley yes. family are going to have yearly reunions. Mm. Yes. Oh, I get it. It is. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it. Okay, listen, listen, let me put it another way. Go on. The Weasley family are going to host. Oh! Yeah. Uh, so, Marvellous, then I shall look forward to that. Yeah, yeah. come join and <laughs> dye your Please. hair red, though. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. 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 No is that more the blonde. Invite? Okay, no more blonde, fair enough. <laughs> There's a lot you could probably say about this one. Um, Keith Hawk of MuggleNet asks, what are some of the small details on the sets that are not easily seen in the films that people who take the tour should be looking for? Yeah. Hundreds. In, in Dumbledore's so office, there's a huge telescope, and on the telescope is this whole astrological yeah. map, um, which you'd never really see in the film, but it's great to, uh, great to look out for. And up on the shelf, there's a sorting out, and in his drawers, there's letters to all different teachers. Sure. And and then when you're in the Great Hall, you'll get to see, you know, all the, you know... All um, the engraving on the doors, yeah. the Great Hall. When you, when you go on the tour, look up. Yeah, look everything down. is Don't just look at eye level. Look down and look up, because the detail goes all the way through. So sure. you can look up and you're like, wow. And what? everything else, just like the props that you'll see um, in the burrows, for example, like the, uh, the knitting needles, which knit on their own. Uh, just little things like that, which you wouldn't necessarily see on a film panning around the room but like you actually get and you see the attention to detail which goes in by all the guys on the crew sure. and somebody tweeted in do you remember what was the very first line you, you said acting as your characters morning Weasleys good luck Harry I've got no idea no no it's just good luck sorry no. watch it Harry good luck Honestly, yeah, woman you call yourself no, no, no that wasn't the first what one was it wasn't it no the first one we were walking through the courtyard I kind of, we're, we're trying to wind Harry up out Mm. I can't remember. I mean, mine was on platform nine and three quarters, and it was we were, talk, you were, talking to Harry, showing him the way, wasn't it? How to run through. Just keep running, dear. We were, we were walking, yeah, like, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, come on, it. come this way. We'll, oh, hurry come up. Come, was come, it? Come yeah, when we were all gathering, and then you're like, are you lost? 
Yeah, well, that's right, yes. See, she remembers it. <laughs> My I daughter. can't tell what one was. I'm something about a wand. Do you have your wands? I don't know. Yes. Like oh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was, yes. Yeah. 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 Do you all have your wands? Yes. Do you all, now, do you all have your wands? Yes. Yeah, that's it, yeah. You all have to... Yes, we do. Flipwick's yeah, back. Yeah, you were there, weren't you? Yeah. You all have to go back and look now. Yes, we yes, do. Yes, I know, we're intrigued. Oh. Patricia of um, the Harry Potter journey uh, asks, it's like, or says, it's like Harry Potter never comes to an end. The seventh book, the eighth movie, then Pottermore, and now this. Hey. What do you think is going to be the next thing for the Harry Potter fandom? Oh. A spin-off about the Weasleys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a sitcom about the Weasleys, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Studio-based. Yes, I think so. All the grandchildren and what? <laughs> yes. Take um, the stage, do a musical version. Yeah. Oh, no. That's already happened. Some people have started to do that already. No. Yeah, yeah but like kids and stuff, like you see. Yeah, like... I'm sure Joe won't see it anytime soon on West End. We'll see. Well, it's on ice. On oh, ice. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Don't tell me you wouldn't be up for it, guys. Come on. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> Carrie Stingle of the rememberall.org asks Who was the saddest when filming wrapped? Warwick, definitely. Why do you think I was No, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. Who was the saddest? The saddest? Dan was pretty upset. Dan, 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 and it says, is the studio different without cameras? I think hmm. you're... Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 It is, but yeah. They, the it cameras is. are only a small part of the whole crew. Um, like, you've got the lighting department, the props sound. department, sound, sound. E- everything. Yeah. The cameras sound. were the last things that, that, that came in to, to the set. So. I'd say we were the last. Yeah, well, yeah, but, but even then we were lined up and stuff. But, yes, but, yes. Uh, but technically... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But as actors, our favourite things. You can rehearse with that. <laughs> and also what was, um, you know, even though, because these sets are in such amazing condition and they're in proper sound stages, they're not just in an exhibition hall or different things. So when you're on those sets, it could, they could put a camera right there and shoot a film oh, that would yeah, be yeah. as yeah. good as what we did. Mm. So. Well, the, the, being, standing on those sets where we've been in the Great Hall, there's no real diff. What would, we would rehearse when, when it was like that, then they would set dress it. Then they bring, they change the lighting. Then they bring the cameras in, and then they'd film it. That's just what it's like. Yeah. Thanks so much, you guys. Can you just say goodbye to everybody? And- Thanks, Bye, everyone. 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 Bye, everyone.